Uh, where do we sleep? Which beds? Yeah. God. There's so several. Oh my God. There's a knife. And there's tsunami warnings in this perimeter. And look where we are. We're in it. Behind me is a ferry, which I'm going to be taking for the next 16 hours. Yes, 16. If you see my last video, you would have seen I crossed the land border between Timor-Leste and Indonesia and arrived in the city of Kupang. Now, there's little to do in Kupang, so I've decided to get out of here as quick as possible and head to the next island. And that requires me to get on that 16-hour ferry. I don't know what it looks like, how much a ticket costs, but yeah, that's the ferry I'm going to be taking. Let's go buy a ticket and begin that journey. Welcome to Indonesia. Right then, let's go get a ticket. First things first, let me show you the route I'm going to be taking on the ferry. And that is from Kupang all the way to the city of Endi, over the water for apparently 16 hours. Let's ask these locals if I can get a ticket with them. Hello. Hello. Tickets? Endi? Endi? Come here, come here. Come here. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Ticket to Ende. Good morning. Yes? How do I buy tickets? This man? You sell tickets? On the ship? Okay, thank you. Right, on the ship, he's saying. I'm not too sure. Let's uh, ask a few other people. Some gentlemen here. Good morning. Hello, everyone. Hello. Ende? Um, Ende. 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 This way? Yeah. Over yes. here? Okay, thank you. Right on. Friendly people here, cats. Very friendly. So maybe it is true. Maybe you do buy your ticket on the ferry when you get there. But I've read online, there's one forum about it. You get a bed. So I want to make sure I get a bed ticket. Because it's for 16 hours apparently, this ferry. So I want to be a bit comfortable. Let's ask a few more people. Myself and Katerina actually came here a couple of days ago to try to buy a ticket. And we were approached by a very friendly policeman called Medley. And he said, come back in a couple of days and get a ticket then with us. So, hopefully we see him in a minute. Ah, oh, hello. How are you doing? Good morning. I'm doing good. Good man. Is uh, the tickets okay. available today? Uh, for this time, yeah. uh, you will buy a ticket direct in the ship. On the ship, you can the ship. ticket. Yes. Perfect. And but this time, because the ship is not ready yet, okay. so you just stand by here until we get some information from the ship. So you can go to the ship and buy a ticket. Okay. And you can maybe 2 p.m., 3 p.m.? No, just uh, maybe until 12. 12? 12 o'clock, you can get the ship. Okay? There you go. Uh, we're getting quite a lot of attention here at the ferry ports. Not many foreigners come and do this journey, so yeah, getting some stairs, but friendly stairs, friendly people. Everyone's sat on the bus roof, look. Look at them. Anyway, that was Medley, the policeman here. Like I said, we came here a couple of days ago. Super friendly guy, and he just told us, yeah, come back in a couple of days, buy a ticket with us. But there you go, we got a couple hours wait, and then we can buy a ticket and get on the ferry. Let's stock up on some snacks. Yeah, we need to decide what we're gonna leave. Leave? With. Oh, well, we need crisps, chocolate, and water. So let's stock up. Chocolate. There we go, we've got a little shop there next to the ferry. Chocolate, Chocolate will melt, but I'm going to eat it now because I'm starving. Good morning. Good morning. Um, we need some water, probably get a big one. Yeah, one water. We need some crisps, we need some biscuits. Um, we'll take some bourbons. Ooh, classic British biscuit there, bonbon. And I'll take this Coca Cola, please, my friend. Thank you very much. Right, we got ourselves some snacks. Cat's found a waiting room around the corner. Let's get into the waiting room and wait for our ferry to be announced. Here we go. The waiting room of Indonesia, Kupang. And there's Katerina with the snacks, looking sweaty and a bit stressed. You all right? I'm too hot, too sweaty. I'm sweating from part of my body. I didn't even knew I could. Agreed. It's so hot here in Indonesia. So, just wanted to show to you guys that the time is 10.40 a.m. 1st of November. 
Let's see if we do actually leave on time. The guy said, what time did he say? 12. 12. 12 we need to go up now. Right, this is Indonesian time. Yeah, so let's see if it's the same as Timor time. If it's the same as Timor less time, we're not going to be leaving until 4 p.m. But let's find out. Maybe the Indonesian side of Timor is more on point with their schedules. There's only one way to find out. Okay, thank you so much. Wow, the boat is on time, no way. The lady's just informed us we can get on the boat now and buy a ticket. So, yeah, there's three boats, so we'll have to ask again which one it is. Hello, Mr. Hello, Mr. Where are you going? I'm going to Ende. Oh, Ende, yes. okay. Which boat? This way? Yes. Thank you, thank you. Which boat? In right. That one. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Right hand side. Thank you, guys. Hey, Mr. Hey, Mr. They love saying hey, Mr. in this uh, side of the world. Okay. Thank, Thank you, Ende. So You're a good man. Have a nice trip. Thank you so much for your help. I Thank wish you. you can meet you again here. Of course, okay. brother. Thank you so much, okay? okay. Thank you. Take care. Right, let's go, Kat. Right, say goodbye to Medley, the legendary police officer here down by the port. Sampai di dalam, sampai di dalam, nanti sama sama saya. Okay? Oh, what? <laughs> Portuguese! Yes. <laughs> so just to confirm, he said there's economy class and VIP class. VIP class, you get a bed, is that right? Yeah, VIP class, you get a bed. Economy class, you get like a bench. A so wooden bench. Yeah. yeah, we don't want that. Nope. Anyway, we're getting on now. Hopefully the beds will sell out. And he's going there quickly. And then. Okay, this one. This one. That one? This one? This one. Thank you, yeah. thank you. Right, here we go. We're through the gates. Let's hop on to the ferry. Our home for the next 16 hours. Right, two VIP tickets yeah. required. Hello. Hello. Uh, VIP tickets. Hi. Tickets. Hi. Right, here we go. Hello, everyone. Okay. Selamat siang. Yes. How are you? Hello. Hello. My friend is English. Your friend is English. Yes. Oh, how are you? Uh, two VIP tickets. Okay. So long. Thank you. Do you have ID on you? Passport. Yeah. Three hundred and seventy-five. 370, that's 300, 400. Cheers, mate. Right on. Thank you, thank you. We've got a ticket. Let's uh, find out where we're sleeping. Which way? VIP tickets. This way? Ah, okay. Thank you, thank you. Union! You, you, Why is the locals wearing prison outfits? Ooh, thank you. Excellent service here on the ferry. Oh, right then. Oh my. Is this it? Hello, everyone. All right. Is this it? Yeah. <laughs> Apparently so. Hello, everyone. Don't mind us, just two foreigners joining you on an adventure. Hello. Hello. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, where do we sleep? Which beds? Yes. Two people? There's none. No? Oh, in this one? Shukran. Okay, beautiful. I'll take the middle bed then, Kat. Shoes off. Come on up, cat. Welcome. <laughs> Just friendly people here. Wow, what are you selling? It's a sabo. Oh my god. That's a knife. You're gonna stop me. Oh, I don't think I need that. <laughs> Look, I can't. No, we can't carry that. I would buy one, but we it can. might cause issues with my um, airplanes coming up, my flights. Flight. So maybe not, mate. We thank can. you, though. So thank you. But can I go to my bed? Yeah, lie down. Huh? Oh, I want a photo. Photo? Yes. There he is. There's the knife man of. <laughs> Kupang. <laughs> right, let's Nina. test this bed out. Oh. 
God's sake. Hey, this is the adventure you wanted when you signed up for this trip? I didn't sign up to sleep with 20 people. 20? <laughs> Try 50? Yeah. One thing to uh, point out is that it stinks on here. It smells like a gym. It is strong smell of B.O. We'll go check out Economy in a minute. But I'll be honest, I might prefer it because it's like a sweat box in here. We got the AC, but I can already not feel it. So it's going to get bloody boiling in here at some point. Katarina, I'm just going for a little walk uh, to show the rest of the ferry. Be careful of the knife man, all right? Yeah, if something happens, I scream. Yes, scream as loud as possible. I'll, I'll be right back, don't worry. First of all, let me show you the toilets. Ooh, western toilets and a bucket to clean yourself. There you go. Got a little camera for uh, security and of course the AC. Back to the other way. Hello. Alright, so I'm guessing this is economy. Right outside the front door. Hello everyone. Okay. Let's walk around the other side. Hello. Hello everyone. <laughs> What is in here? Oh, okay, this is the other room, same as ours. There's literally 50 beds in here, like, right to the other end. Amazing. Hello. Hello. Up this way. Excuse me, brother. Thank you. Thank you. Ah, oh, wow, top deck. Wow, this is it. Oh, it's boiling. Top deck of the ferry. And I think we're gonna be leaving any moment now. So, yeah, I think that's about it, really, for the tour of the ferry. You've got a cargo below me, down here, look. And then the Indonesian flag. Katarina? Yes? Not much around the boat. I thought it would be like a kitchen to buy food. I don't think they even have that. Have we got enough snacks? We have biscuits. Biscuits. <laughs> Sorry guys, when Backpack Band invited me for this trip, it didn't specify this VIP, non-VIP. It didn't say this, just in case. Blame it. Although, I'm okay with this because I'm an adventure soul. Well, you clearly haven't seen my videos because I do this shit all the time. Probably worse. <laughs> These are my neighbours for the next 16 hours, maybe more. Guys, what are your names? Tiflan. Tiflan. And you? Didrong. Didrong. Nixar. Nixar. Yes. And you go to Ende? Yes. English. English? No English. No problem. You guys have a great uh, journey. Ende, yes. Ende. Kupang to Ende. Good man. Uh, yeah, limited English here on the ferry, but it's okay. People are friendly. I'm just curious why there's two. Westerners getting this smelly boat to bloody end it. We're literally the only ones. Of course. No foreigners get this bloody thing. When they come to Indonesia, foreigners, they go to Bali, they go to... That's about it really, isn't it? Lombok. Lombok. <laughs> Giliti. They're Gili Islands. That one. But you don't get many coming to Kupang getting a slow boat to end it, do you? Who yep. knows, maybe after this video, they'll all come flocking to it. I doubt it. <laughs> well guys, the time is 1pm and I think we are about to leave. So, let's see if this takes 16 hours or not. There you go. Me and Kat are going to go for a wander. we we'll give her a grand tour of the ferry. She's not seen the rest of it. So let's have a little mince around. Come on in. This is it. I thought this would be the kitchen where you get food, but there's literally nothing for sale. Unless I'm, I might be something upstairs. Welcome to the top deck of the ferry. Let's sit up here for a bit, get some fresh air. Right then, we have officially left port. The journey begin to Endi or Ende here in Indonesia.
we're about an hour in and I'm already starving. We've eaten our crisps, we've got our bonbons. And we need to make them last. Yeah, we need to ration them, but I'm very hungry, so crack them open, cat. Give us a bonbon. Hopefully at some point, like food comes out or something. I've seen a few people shout out nasi kerang before, which is the local Indonesian meal. So maybe there's a kitchen on here that I, don't, I haven't seen. But in the meantime, bonbons. Cheers. Right, we're about four hours into the journey and we are bang in the middle of nowhere. Miles away from civilization, hours from land. But yeah, so far so good. The ferry's decent. Me and Cab have just been chilling here on the roof, getting the fresh air. I'm dreading going into that room later. It's going to be a sweat box. Cat, you enjoying it? Yeah, but I'm a bit hungry. I am starving. So, so we're going to try find some food. There must be some rice or something on this ship. <laughs> so, can't lead the way. Let's find some food. That way. This way? Lead way. Right. One thing to note is if you suffer from seasickness, this is not the ferry for you. It is bobbing up and down like crazy. I felt a bit ropey before, but it's not too bad at the moment. Let's see if some food will help settle my stomach. Hello there. Guys, do you serve food? What is this? Oh, pot noodle. Ooh. <laughs> the last time myself and Kat ate a pot noodle, we had explosive diarrhea in um, Timor Leste. It was exactly the same one. Exact same one, because I'm guessing he used like dodgy water or something, because it was lukewarm. So I don't know if I'm going to risk it or not. What do you reckon? I'm getting into biscuits. Just biscuits? Because I don't want to have it in this. I'm starving. For fuck's sake. Well, we need more water anyway. Yeah, buy some water. Right. Right. Yeah. <laughs> One, two. Ten. Thank you. Thank you, guys. My lunch and dinner right here. Oh, Bottle of water. Noodles. Just noodles. That's all I have. Nice. No. Never mind. There you go. Dinner is served. A bottle of water to go with my biscuits. Your luxury. Ah oh, well, whatever. About 12 hours left. 12 hours? 10 hours? Not sure. The sun's going down in the distance. Look at that. Beautiful. Right, let's get back to my bench. Most annoying song ever. You thought Timor Less played annoying music. Listen to this. Oh, they've turned it off, thank God. Most annoying music ever. The sun has officially gone down on the horizon and in a few minutes it's going to get pitch black. Also, me and Kat have decided we ain't sleeping in that stinky room. Trust me, it is honking down there. Smelly feet and B.O. You can't even breathe in there. It's so hot, the bed's all sticky. I don't fancy spending 10 hours in there. So, we're going to sleep out on the deck. Much better, you got an ocean breeze coming through. And yeah, I just think it's better in my opinion and Kat's. So, uh, yeah, our last few minutes of daylight here, and then it's going to get very dark. So wish us luck, another 10 hours or so to go.
good news, the music's finally stopped, so a bit of uh, peace and quiet. But yeah, this is our bed for tonight. Kat, you ready? Yeah, that's my bed, my wooden bench to cure my back, as people say. It's good for the back. Great for the back. Right, I'll see you guys in a few hours. Wish us luck. Past five in the morning here. We've just been woken up by some blaring music, as you just heard. But it doesn't matter because in the distance is the island that we're going to. So the ferry officially took 16 hours to reach here. So we made it. Let's get off the ferry and get onto a bus for the next two hours. I'll explain why in a minute. Welcome! Look at that for a view. Incredible! Looks like something from King Kong! Katarina, did you have a good night? Not really. Not much sleep that overall. Good experience. Exactly. Not many people can say they've slept on a ferry in Indonesia for 16 hours and woke up with a view like this. Yeah. Oh Jesus, look at this. So we just got a warning on our phones. There was an earthquake in Kupang, the city we were in last night. 6.6 .6 earthquake, 42 minutes ago. And there's tsunami warnings in this perimeter. And look where we are, we're in it. Jesus, that's pretty scary. So we need to get off this ferry really quickly because the last thing you want is a tsunami coming from over there. Kalamuntu. <laughs> Kelamutu. Yes. Right, we're off, we're off the ferry. Let's get out of here before a bloody tsunami comes. Jesus. That's the warning you don't want. Hello? Kelamuntu. Kelamuntu. Taxi? Uh, bus? No, Kelamuntu. Two hours away. I don't think a bike can make it. We need a bus. I can see a bus there, let's ask them. Where do you want to go? Kelamuntu, please. Kelamuntu Tricolor Lake? Yes. Whoa! Two hours away, right? Two hours. Yeah. yeah. Rao Raki Bus Terminal. Pardon? Rao Raki Bus Terminal. Is that right? How long? No, no. You go, go, you go, you go, you go, you go, you go, you start not to bite, yeah? Right, these guys are saying I need to get a scooter to the bus terminal. Jesus, I'm sweating the bollocks off. Get this thing off. And then that's where the bus is. So let's negotiate for a taxi. Get to the bus. I drop the bus then? Yes, okay. uh, two people. Two. So, brother, how, how much? much? How much? 20. 20 One and people. 20. Okay. So 20, yeah. 20. Okay, let's go. Thank you. What's going on? Hello. Kilimantu? Kilimutu. Kilimutu. Yes, bus. Okay. Thank you, brother. Thank okay, okay. you. You can, you 15, can swap. 50. 50 for you. Okay. 50 50. Okay. Have a tip. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. Okay. Right, this is it. Uh, how much is uh, tickets? How much? Okay, let's go. Figure it out when we get on there. But basically, we're getting a bus to a volcano. And that's where we're going to be sleeping. That's why we're here. That's why we got the ferry. That's why we're getting this bus. Because we're going to a volcano. Here it is. 
is. Here is our guest house after a long ferry ride and that two and a half hour journey on the mountain roads on that bus, we have arrived at our £10 hotel. Yes, £10. Not bad, huh? Nice and basic. You got yourself a bed, you got yourself a sink, and you got yourself a bucket to clean yourself and a small little toilet. What more do you need? So, was that journey worth it? Let's find out. Let's head to the volcano. We gotta get a bike, drive up the mountain even further, and then hike up to the volcano. So um, yeah, see you on the bike. Let the hike begin. We've driven up the mountain. We've now got, apparently, a 30 minute walk further up until we reach the volcano. Good morning. Good morning Mr. Mr. Good morning everyone. Love you, Mr. you love me, I love you too. Here in this part of Indonesia, it's limited English. So all you hear is, hey mister, or miss, hello, or I love you. Guys, welcome to the top of an active volcano. Now, this isn't your average volcano. Here, there's different lakes that are in the volcano and they change colors sometimes throughout the years. Behind me is the current color. Let me tell you something. It's pretty incredible. Kat, what do you think? Come and see for yourself. Don't mind if I do. Look at that. Incredible color. Wow. I mean, in the distance, look, another color. So we've seen online that this volcano a few years ago used to be white, used to be red. It sometimes goes brown, sometimes goes black. So it changes colors. Why it does that, I don't know. I'm not David Attenborough, I couldn't tell you. But maybe there's someone watching this video that can tell us a bit of information about it. I know. You know, dear. Yeah. Go on, then. It depends on our met gases. 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 It is on the criteria. So how much gas changes the colour? Well, I'm guessing I'm not like a physic, am I? Like, I'm not... Hans Physician? Yeah, I'm not... Is Hans that the right word? Physician? I don't know. <laughs> don't know. I'm not Einstein, but I'm guessing... Einstein? What's going on with your English? <laughs> Normally your English is perfect. I'm tired of the... This is fairy consequences. <laughs> <laughs> the fairy Einstein. has destroyed us. But there you go. It was worth it. That is an active volcano. Well, let's see the other one then. Yes, let's go to the other lake. Come on, cat. Let's break the rules. Let's get a better view. Let's keep it going. Me and Kat are being rebels. We've climbed under the barrier and we're walking for a better view. The signs say not to, but whoa, that's probably why. <laughs> but wow. Look at this. Jesus, don't get too close to that edge. Certain death landing in that. So green, what a weird colour. Then you've got the blue one over here, look. Mental. I've noticed there's a lot of, even the locals are wearing shoes, but we've just got flip-flops on. As always, unprepared for an adventure. Hopefully we have water this time. Yeah, we've got a bottle of water, nothing else. Anyway, let's get to the third and final volcanic lake. We've made it to the third volcanic lake, the brown one. It's not great, not the prettiest. In fact, looks terrible compared to the other two. So that's the brown one, there you go, nothing great. We're gonna keep going to the very top, get a final view. Welcome to the top of the active volcano. Was it worth the journey? I'd say it was. Yeah, it was. It's pretty amazing. Not many people can say you've been to this active volcano with three different mysterious coloured lakes. So yeah, it was worth it in the end. Tomorrow we'd be on another mega journey. It's something like a 14 hour bus. So yeah, we need to go back and rest. It's gonna be a long day. So I'll give you one final view of the volcano. But yeah, it's goodbye from me and Kat until the next video. Bye bye.